Well, hello, and welcome to the Every Secrets Guide for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity here on the Backlog. Today, we're going to be talking about Akala Citadel. Now, this map has two different ways you can go about. There's the fast way and then the painfully slow way. You can guess which way we're going to show you today. No, it's, it's not. No, it's not the painful one. It's the fast way. Why, why would you? Never mind. Anyway, as soon as you start, you're going to have to come over here and experience the cutscene. There's nothing else to do until you've gotten this cutscene out of the way, unless you want to go the painfully slow route. So take care of these bosses, get the cutscene out of the way, and move along. Now, once the Blade Masters are dealt with, you can head right across the bridge and continue the mission, but I would suggest sending your allies to this spot and this spot just to get them ready so you don't have to do all the walking personally. Let the computer do that while you're out busy collecting goodies. Now take Link or whoever you prefer and head north and take care of this outpost so you can light the first furnace. With the outpost under your control and the furnace lit, you could go through this cutscene over here and gain access to a Kala Citadel. But you'll be reminded that you can't get in there until you light all of the other furnaces. And that's why we had you send your buddies down south. Now switch over to whoever you had, go down to the starting area, and come to this little courtyard here. You'll find a bunch of boxes you can break open to grab rupees, but you'll also find this pinwheel right here. Just interact with it to get the first seed of our journey here today, then grab all the rest of the rupees and bamf over here in the far southeast corner to find a knight's halberd in this stone chest. Now, while you're here, you might as well take care of the outpost that's right here, but don't go too far before you head north, because there's a bit of a stump with a surprise inside. Uh, take some blue glowing bodyguards with you just in case. Now, come over here and take care of the second of these furnaces down south, and then head all the way up here. Oh, watch out, there's a bloopy. Well, there was for me, probably not for you. Then head all the way out over here to the west, you'll find a rock chest with an ancient overclock unit in it. Now, you're pretty much done here, so you can switch back over to Link and head north. There's going to be a bit of work here to do. Take out this outpost. Just clear out the outposts, cleanse them, light the fire. Ah, but right here, hidden so sneakily that it took me about 20 minutes to find, is another rock chest with a guardian spear plus in it. Or at least... That's what we got out of it. If you get something different, let us know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out when we drop new guides. Now, head down south and then a little bit off to the east, and you'll find a little flower just in time for Valentine's Day. Oh, will you be my Valentine? <laughs> oh, I'll take that as a no that. Then head a bit more to the east and find this gilded chest with a faithful Coca-Cola in it. And that's pretty much all of the outside of the Citadel. So now, go into the Citadel, run that cutscene, and you'll definitely want to go to the right as soon as you get into Akala Tower. Unless you're like me and you like to redo levels over and over again because you forgot stuff. Head to the right, follow that hallway to the big area, then head up north to the circle up here. Now, you've got two choices when you get into the circle round. You can go off to the left and find the chest immediately, or you can go all the way around and waste a lot of time. There's a giant ancient core either way, but I guess if you've got a bunch of time sitting around. Anyway, then head south to this big open courtyard where they've left some whiz robes if you need to refill any of your whiz robe crystals. They did leave a lot of cannons in case you need to invade Spain, and there's a little pinwheel in case you get bored waiting for Spain to attack. Now there are a bunch of boxes that you can break in here to get some free rupees, but there's none of the normal chests or Korok seeds. Other than that, this courtyard is pretty much a bust. Head back into the citadel and take the other option from the starting room. Now you've gone up north, you've attacked Suga, and defeated him for the first of several times. Spoiler alert. Now head up the stairs here and interact with this glowing spot to be interrupted rudely and given feces. Then, just a little past the glowing spot, there's a box. In the box you'll find a handful of rupees. Not a lot, but more than in the other chests. 
Now continue on through, take out the blue main Lionel, conquer another couple of outposts along your way, one more attack with Suga, and uh, then attack with Suga and friend. Now this is the point where uh, once you're here, you're kind of stuck. If you realize you've missed a chest, you're going to have to play the whole game over again like I did just to get back to the chest. Luckily, as soon as you open the chest, you can exit out of the game without finishing and keep all of your saves stacked. Other than that, just have fun attacking Suga and his bodyguard, and I'll see you again next time here on the Backlog for more guides, casual playthroughs, game announcements, and eager anticipation for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Thanks for watching. I'll play with you again next time.